Sisters and brothers in Christ, as Christians, we celebrate every aspect of the life of Jesus Christ, his birth in a stable in Bethlehem, his baptism in the Jordan, his Sermon on the Mount, his many miracles. But the saving work of Christ is drawn to a climax in the events of one fateful week in Jerusalem when Jesus experienced his passion and death and conquered them in his resurrection. We remember those events each and every day, but they are the primary focus of our celebrations during Holy Week. We recall Christ's triumphal entry into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday, though on that day we can see how quickly the acclaim of the crowds fades as we reflect upon his passion and death. We remember Christ's gift of the priesthood and his healing message of compassion in the Chrism Mass, which we will celebrate at our cathedral on Tuesday, April 4th. We recall both the gift of the Eucharist and his command to reach out to our brothers and sisters in charity and service in the Mass of the Lord's Supper on Holy Thursday. We solemnly commemorate our Lord's passion and death on Good Friday when we venerate the cross that he willingly embraced for us. And on the evening of Holy Saturday, throughout Easter Sunday, and for the 50 days that follow, we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ, his triumph over sin and death. We rejoice that he offers us eternal life, that his forgiveness and love extends to the whole world and to each of us. Sisters and brothers, I invite you to join us at some or all of the services of Holy Week. Visit diocesealex.org or the website or Facebook page of a Catholic church near you for the dates and times of these liturgies. Our world is lost and troubled. We need the promise of the resurrection. We need the saving love of Jesus Christ. We need the hope that Easter brings.